Well, today's video is on the railing that I'm getting ready to build and the new stairs in our dining room. As you can see, I have all the spindles prepped, the handrail, the rosette, I have my supervisor. got the blue tape in place where the spindles are going to be dadoed in. I like to use the blue tape because I can make all the marks I want and it doesn't mark onto the wood and afterward you simply peel it off and all your pencil marks go with it. So I've made a notch down at the bottom to receive the newel post. Unfortunately the stairs were about a sixteenth of an inch out of plumb. So I custom made a notch on the post which runs at a sixteenth of an inch angle there. So as the post goes on to the stairs, when it receives it, when that sets tight, it's perfectly plumb. I'm going to work my way up through with the handrail, the spindles, and see how it goes. Alright, the next thing I want to do is figure out the angle that my spindles are going to be cut at. So I've laid my level across the bullnose edge. I've got a bevel here. I set it till it touches. And I've already checked this with my speed square, it came in at 48 degrees. But this was checked in a horizontal plane. We need to be perpendicular to that, we're going vertical. So you take the 48 from 90 degrees, you come up with 42 degrees. So I cut this block just to check my math at 42 degrees. And as you can see, perfect fit. So that's my angle for this whole project, it's 42 degrees. Okay, so what I've done is, I've taken a 2x4, which I would recommend anybody do. A $4 2x4 is a lot easier than an $80 piece of oak. And I've taped it up with a height I know that my handrail is going to come I cut a piece of handrail at my 42 degree angle, and I've measured the height of the cup, and it's a 2 and 7 eighths. So I put the 2 and 7 eighths onto my newel post where I want it to receive into the square section. When I got that measurement, I was able to cut this temporary little leg. Then with a little bit of math, I came up with this calculation. And just to check it, I've come off the leading edge of the bullnose, plumbed up, made a mark. And I did it again at the top of the stairs, plumbed up made a mark. When I measure those two marks, in this case it comes up to 35 and a quarter, 35 and a quarter. So I know my angle is right. That gives me my mark up here so that all my balusters will be cut the same length. As you can see, I have the handrail in place. The next step is to start my balusters. I've done the math for where the center of my spindles need to be, keeping in mind the four inch rule for the building code. Each of these spindles come with a hole drilled in them with this little guy, which goes in here. So we're going to dado in, we're going to drill these with a Fossner bit, this diameter hole into each of these treads. First thing I've done is take a nail set once again in my blue painter's tape. I've marked where they need to go. I'm just going to pre-punch a little spot. As you can see, this fits perfectly into the hole. This will hold the bottom of my spindle. Just glue holds that part of it. Now I have all my holes drilled. I'm going to take these small plugs and I'm 
I'm going to use wood glue. Into the hole. Make it really good. Get one shot at doing this. Keep in mind that this glue is the only thing that's going to fasten the bottom with that plug, no nails. So I use more than I need and then just wipe it up. However, at the top, I'm not going to use the typical glue. I'm going to use a, const a construction adhesive. Simply because a lot of these points now already have my finish on them and the wood glue doesn't stick as well as this product will. We've got our angle cut. We're going to slide the bottom over that post. Put this up into the top. Squish in that caulk good. And I'm going to fasten it with one very small brad. That's it. We'll work our way up through the top. And then we'll put the little fillers in between the spindles. That'll complete our problem. Once again, we're going to put the glue in the bottom. And I decided to put these little filler strips in as I go up through here. It's a little bit easier to nail them. But I will be using the adhesive and not regular glue. I've already dry fit this. This goes up in between. We'll secure it with a couple little brads. Ready for the next spindle. Glue at the bottom. Construction adhesive at the top. That's just my own preference. Glue is good when you have two pieces of wood together that are perfect. This, on the other hand, isn't exactly perfect at the top. When that sets in. Well, the railings are done. It's set for a couple days, everything's set up well, it's dried. One thing I wanted to point out, if you don't like the look of the larger section, the square section at the top from the rear baluster, you can get longer ones, but I found that this was acceptable for my taste, uh, but there are other options out there. I've also installed the grippable handrail that runs the length of the stairs on the opposite side it makes it handy because you can obviously see this section only goes halfway up. So I'm very happy with the outcome. Pretty simple project, but it really adds to the room. I'm very happy with it.